Here we're going to look at some more advanced problems with density. So if you haven't already watched the video on density introduction and the basic density practice problems, you might want to start there just so you can have a good foundation for this stuff. Here's the first question. The piece of wood in the figure, that's this right here, has a mass of 96.4 grams. Determine its density. So we're going to be looking for density. That means we need two things. We're going to take the mass and divide it by the volume. The problem right here gives us the mass. It's 96.4 grams. But problems in the past, they've told us what the volume is. We don't have the volume here. Instead, we just have the measurements of the lengths of this rectangular block. So how do we find the volume? As you probably remember from geometry, all we got to do is take the length times the width times the height, multiply them together, and that will give us the volume of this three-dimensional object. So we'll do that, and that will get us the volume, and then we can do the division and figure out what the density is. So let's start by figuring out what the volume of this block is. So I'm going to take 11 centimeters times 5.00 centimeters times 3.00 centimeters. Multiply those together, and I'll get my volume of 165. What are the units for this going to be? I've got one, two, three centimeters all multiplied together, so I'm going to get centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters. That's great, because that's what we measure volume in for when we're doing density. OK, so now I know the volume. So to determine the density, I'm going to take my mass, 96.4 grams, and divide it by my volume, which is 165 cubic centimeters. I'm going to get this answer, 0 0.584242. But I have three significant figures here and three significant figures here. So that means that I'm going to take the 5, the 8, and the 4. Look here to see whether I keep it the same or round up. I keep it the same. And I'll arrive at a final answer of 0 0.584. What are the units here? I have grams, centimeters cubed. Neither of them canceled out. So I'll report my density as grams over cubic centimeters. And that's how I do a problem like this. Just to review, I didn't get the density in the problem, so instead I had to multiply the length, width, and height together to get the volume, and then I could go from there.